Hey guys, Ravesy here. Welcome to another unboxing. And this is a great unboxing. Uh, actually, it is an unexpected unboxing. And what ended up happening is I have no clue when the next content I'm going to be able to make. My life is a little nuts right now. So I'm kind of trying to take every opportunity that I can just to kind of talk fragrance with you guys. Um, and two, actually three to be fair, I'm going to count the um, this parcel as well, came in. And so I figured it would be a great excuse to just open these up. I must admit, most of these will probably be samples, and I'm going to be sending some of these to my good friend Jonathan. Um, and, and so we're going to have to work out how to send all this together because there's a ton of sample sets in here. But I figured it would just be a cool way to talk a bunch of fragrance for a little bit before I got a jet. Um, sent to the day today is Dior Homme Intense because... The weather is finally changing. We finally have a cold front coming through in Texas, which I'm very excited about. And I'm going to go out, so I'm going to reapply this. So I might as well just reek of Dior Homme Intense. Um, and uh, this is actually a really good going out fragrance, to be fair. Um, and one of the reasons I was testing it, though, is because I was testing this. Iris Toreffi from Guerlain. And uh, it reminded me a lot of Dior Homme, Dior Homme Intense specifically. Um, the Iris is maybe a little bit better quality in Iris Tereffi. The dry down though, they go in little different directions. I think for something I'm going to wear, um, I, I almost feel like I prefer Dior Homme Intense. I don't know. I'm torn because they both do things, you know, Iris Tereffi has this very strange, like, um, white floral thing that starts to appear, almost like this heady own, I don't know what it is, but I got to spend some more time with it before I do the review, um, or early impression. It's just a de as a sample. Um, okay, so let's start small in the unboxing. Let's start with this little bad boy right here, and we'll see if I can get through this without just absolutely doxing myself. So let me get my handy dandy unboxing knife. So these are supposed to be kind of just fun videos where we can just talk about a lot of fragrances, maybe learn about some new ones together. This is from my good friend D.L. Qualia, who's provided me with a lot of content over the years. Um... And so let's see what he sent this time. Okay. So, there's a giant box on my desk. I don't know if you can see. It's actually from a news, but it's not uh, a news contents, I don't think. I think this is mostly stuff from the duck den. Um, so, a news was just the carrier, if you will. So, but yes, he deserves all of the shout outs that he can get. So thank you, Anuj, for being a courier when you went on your trip, bringing this back for me. For me and Jonathan. Appreciate that. Um, okay. So this is what D.L. Qualia sent. So we have... Oh gosh, there's a lot. Um, Vaniha Van Oud, which definitely leaked a little bit. I can smell it. I don't know if you can see the leakage there, but it definitely leaked inside of there. Um... I like what I'm smelling though, so that's good. Uh, someone is sending me 0.75 mils soon, so I'll have enough to do maybe a little bit of a um, early impression video on Vaniha Van Oud soon. I'm going to put this giant box on the floor until we decide to open it. And then we've got, um, this is Mirage 23. i got to look this up. Um... Mirage 23. Oh, it's one of those, I guess it's pronounced I-O-K-O -O fragrances, or Ioko. I have no clue. Um, but Mirage 23 is an Enzo uh, Gallardi creation who did a lot of the fragrances from a couple of the big Italian houses like Bois 1920. He also... Um, did a lot of work for a house called Profumo de Firenze. Um, and so this is his newest project, I think, this Ioko or Ioko, I have no idea, but Mirage 23. I'll be excited to get to know. I like his work. I like what he's done with Bois 1920. I think it's a it, it was a good niche house. I don't know about the new stuff, but the vintage stuff I have was pretty good. Um, and then we have Neroli Portofino Forte, which I feel like we're out just out of season of, of reviewing that. Maybe I'll try to do that one as soon as possible. Um, Neroli Portofino Forte. Um, 2016 release. 
Ah, it's discontinued according to Parfumo. That's crazy. Blood Orange, Bergamot, Basil, Lavender, Orange Blossom Absolute, Bitter Orange Tree Absolute, Italian Coastal Woods, Oak Moss, and Suede. Jan Vasnier is the perfumer. Apparently, this is supposed to be a big sort of citrus fresh type fragrance. Um, and then a bunch of Lucky Scent samples, which uh, Tom Ford, Soleil Neige, Tiziana Terenzi Chimera, Shea and Blue, Blood Orange, Blood Oranges, Initio's Blessed Baraka. I think I have a sample floating around of Blessed Baraka, so maybe I will put that on the to make fun of list. Um, Zerzhov's Accento Overdose, um, Initio's Musk Therapy, which sounds very familiar. Did I review that on the channel? And then Atomic Rose by Initio. I don't think I've reviewed that one, so good stuff. Um, very good stuff indeed. Thank you for these. I have a ton of these Lucky Scents that I could just kind of go through one of these days. Um, I think all of this on here is Cor de Oud, which is very sad, um, but it smells great on the... Um, just from what seems to have leaked. So uh, let me put these in their home real quick, and then I shall return and we shall continue this bad boy. Okay, they are going into their homes, which is right now. Okay. They're in their home. The Lucky Scent samples have their own little home here. Uh, okay, so next, let's do... Well, let me cut into this box and we'll just kind of pull stuff out. How about that? Um, let's see what's in here. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that's going to be impossible. Um, a Ducita Discovery Set, which I have so i'm pretty sure this one's going to jonathan god sorting this out is going to be fun i'll tell you that um i do know that there is a full bottle in here for me this is from liz moores who if you have not watched my interview with the uh owner and perfumer of um papillon check those two interviews out that i did done with her she is an amazing perfumer i'm a big fan of her work um and so she sent me this. She said, thank you for all your hard work. Um, I really appreciate you having me on the channel. I want to send this to you, but she can't send it to me. So I had to have it muled over by the great Anu. So this is Epona. So this I can unbox for you guys. And I will show you the bottle, which I think you guys have probably seen. But I think this one might be a little bit different, if I recall. Um, come on. Does not want to open. Okay, that is the strongest. Oh, there's going to be so much trash in here. So, Epona, which I did an early impression on off of a, um, off of a sample. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, the, the top is now frosted is the only difference, I think. Um, but there you go. The new Epona by Papillon. I really like this stuff. Very... Oh, shit. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, let's try this again, Cap. Yeah. Um, reminded me a little bit of Zing from L'Artisan Parfumaire, which is discontinued. Um, and very classy, but, but also you definitely get the horsiness. And I know it was supposed to be a... Sort of homage to her horse who um, very sadly passed away while she was making that. So, um, so yeah, it ended up being like a tribute fragrance when, when all was said and done. But I'm very happy to have a bottle. Very happy to have a bottle. So that was very generous of, um, of Liz sending this along. So thank you. Thank you, Liz. Uh, okay. Next we have... Uh, these must be from... I think these must be from Anuj as little kind gifts is my guess, but we've got Steve McQueen, uh, Eau de Parfum Dome, I guess uh, one's mythic and one is extreme, I don't know, I, I, we'll have to sort all this out when all is said and done, but 
Are you guys familiar with this one? Steve McQueen's Mythic and Extreme. Let's look them up. Um, Mythic. Ah, Steve McQueen. There we go. 2012 release. Um, still in production, apparently. Red berries, pine, cedar, patchouli, and woods. And then we have um, extreme, which is also 2012 release. Also still in production. Pink pepper, pomegranate, raspberry, uh, cinnamon, clove, jasmine, lily of the valley, guyac wood, musk, cedar, patchouli, and vanilla. Very interesting. You guys familiar with this one? I am not. Not at all. But uh, that's awesome. That's good stuff. Always love exploring these houses that I've never sniffed before. So, Steve McQueen's Extreme and Mythic. I'm trying to grab the big stuff first because fudge, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, oh. Uh, so... I'm probably just going to have to, I don't even know if I want to pull all of these out right now. Um, let's see. We've got some, maybe Maitre Parfume Gantiers. Looks like that's MPEG in there. We've got SL Discovery Set, which is what, ah, Strange Love. I think this one's going to Jonathan, because I already have a Discovery Set of that. Um, Jolie Perf Perfumery. I think I've heard of that, but I don't recall what it was. Um, Label Fine Perfumes. Fine Perfumery. Uh, ILK Discovery Set. I don't know what most of these are, I must admit. Um... Okay, that looks fun. That just that's just a shitload of samples in there. That each one of those is a little sample. I can feel it. Uh, um. So how about that? That is just a shitload of samples in there. So that'll go to the side. This is also a shitload of samples. Which I mean, what do you? I mean, looks like there's some Francis Kirkjohn, Mont Blanc, Hubigans. <laughs> Um, I mean, there's so many samples, so many samples. Um, oh, should I even open these? Let's see. Let us try. Let us try the old opening trick. Let's see what's in here. This is a bottle. Bottles are easier to open. Um, bottles are easier to open. Ah, Monsieur Rochas. Oh, what a beautiful bottle too, man. That is just gorgeous. This must be from Anouge. I don't think this is from Rich. I think the, the bottles that Rich sold to Jonathan went straight to Jonathan. I don't know. But um, either way, that is just a gorgeous vintage bottle. I wish they still did, you know, bottles like that. I know it's nothing crazy with the diamond sort of intersection, but there's something so vintage about that. Uh, this is one that's been on my sniff list for a long time, so that is exciting stuff. And there's another one. Man. What are you? This is also a Monsieur, but not Rochas. 
This is <laughs> Anuj knows how to pack, man. He really knows how to pack. Ah, this is um, Monsieur Lanvin, which I reviewed on the channel. This is an aftershave, and um, I really, really like this. Um, you can go check out my review off of a um, off of a sample, but. This is this is really good stuff. Probably one of the best masculine long bonds that I've come across. Um, okay, so more samples in a Selfridges bag. So you know this is coming from the England. Okay, that's really tied up. That's knotted. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys. I mean, not that it matters. It's like a thousand samples, you know. Um, there are some more bottles, I think. And if there's not any more bottles in there, there's definitely more some bottles in the next one that I'm most excited about. Yeah, this is just a shit ton of samples. Um, yeah. Um, Peter Carter's brand. Amen Pure Coffee. I see all kind of stuff in here. There's, there's just all kind of goodies. All kind of goodies. Um... I am very excited about these uh, Tom Fords. I've never smelled fucking fabulous right there. I've, I've never smelled bitter peach. Um, some Frederick Malls. Some Javoy. Um, more. More little. A bunch of just random samples. Um, more random samples. More random samples. Um, I think, actually, this is going to Jonathan, if memory serves. Uh, this Don, this Gerard Donfrey Club Aftershave. Um, I think this is going to Jonathan, if I recall the little interaction that we had. That is just cool. <laughs> I mean, look how cool that is. I, I just want to smell it real quick. Ooh, I would love to get a bottle of that one day. That is very, very interesting stuff. Very interesting. I mean, you know, that is so vintage, so 70s. So that's awesome. That is awesome. And then we have... Uh, Rien de Saba sample set. I have never even heard of that brand before in my life. We have a ton of what look to be diptyque samples. Um, ton of diptyque samples. Some Tom Ford, some, uh, there's just all kind of stuff in there. Um, it's just a Samples Paradise, a Samples Paradise, um, more random samples. And then we've got these, um, Bois Noir, Sport Fragrance, Paddock. Okay, these are awesome. These are the ones I requested Rich to make for me. I've never smelled Bois Noir or Paddock or any of that stuff, so that is exciting. Um, all right, I'm going to try to put some of this back in some sort of organized way and then I'm gonna have to get with Jonathan and we are gonna have to kind of go through this and see what he wants um, that is a lot of stuff so thank you Anoush for being the courier to, to all of this madness um, I very much appreciate it so so yes so that's the big box um, lots of samples this is this is gonna I'm sure sit very well with Jonathan um, and then we'll sort all the other stuff out. Um, okay. So let me open the package that's from Jinx. So the House of Jinx reached out to me and Arthur said, I want to send you some stuff. 
And I said, I'd love to smell your brand. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Um, and he's very, uh, from my understanding, from what I hear, this guy is very Russian Adam-esque, very Ensar-esque, very Russian Adam-esque. You could put him in, in you know, that category of Ensar and Russian Adam, right? Um, so, let me see what he sent me. Okay, so I'm actually um, really excited about this. So that's the brand, Jinx, J-I-N-X. I think he's in upstate New York, if memory serves. And so that's, that's his packaging. Very cool. Okay, so here we go. So this is a piece après. It looks like this is called a piece après. Um, man, I'm so excited to try these. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try these. There have been very few houses that have really moved me lately. Um, and everyone keeps telling me, you have to try Jinx. You have to try Jinx. Um, so, yes, I am, I am extremely excited to get to try some of these. So let me, let me just look up the notes. Um, Jinx. A P Apre is a powdery woody fragrance. I mean, the note listing is right up my alley as of late. Bitter orange, ginger, pepper, pimento, rosewood, apricot, Bulgarian rose, otto, French oak, honey, apopanax, propolis, saffron, vanilla, ylang ylang, amber, atlas cedar, civet, Indonesian oud, mysore sandalwood, Siberian musk, Sri Lankan oud, Thai oud, and white ambergris. And from my understanding, he uses the highest quality of ingredients. Um, so his name is Arthur Clayton Emmerich, um, and I think he's in upstate New York, if memory serves. So, so that's the first one. The second one second one is this. which is called Aroma Traveler. If you guys know anything about these, leave it in the comments. So you can see the color of the juice. It's very dark like most of these um, artisanal houses. And so Aroma Traveler is um, not on here. It's not in Parfumo. Let's see, Jinx, Aroma, Traveler. Huh. Yeah, I don't see it on there. Um, oh, Chinese Retailer, Aroma, Traveler. So I think this might be the new one. Or maybe this came out couple maybe a month ago September it looks like it's it's available and it's only available at Aroma Traveler okay all right so yeah I gotta I gotta look up I gotta look up the details for this one doesn't look like it's on Parfumo oh maybe it is maybe this is it right here oh yeah it's under La Lumiere de Ear okay <laughs> La Lumiere de Ear um it's created in collaboration with Aroma Traveler. So this is bergamot, lime leaf, rosewood, uh, bourbon geranium, jasmine, lavender, deer musk, mysore sandalwood, and Siberian musk. So, so yes. So there, there's two down. And then I'll show you the big bottles that he sent. He sent these. So there's the sort of brand name on the bottom. And inside... 
This is J. Musk version 3, which probably of all of the ones that I've researched on the brand, this is the one I'm most excited to smell because um, of things I hear from friends in the community. So there it is, J. Musk. Now this is version 3, so he does it from my understanding very similar to Russian Adam, how there's Siberian Musk 1 and 2 and all that stuff. Um, oh man, I, I can't wait to wear these. So this is, um, and there's a little note breakdown right there as well. So, um, pineapple, citrus, melange, rosewood, vintage rue gulab, um, rue motia. These are a different type of attar. Rue mangra, violet from the Oman treasury. Uh, helichrysum, helichrysum, jasmine sambach, oris blue lotus, and palo santo with a base of golden ambergris vintage cashmere deer musk from the Oman treasury. I was just about to say, where the hell did he get vintage cashmere deer musk? And there you have it. Um, Castorium muskrat and um, Me Megalea oud. I can't say I know what Megalea oud smells like, but, um, but I am very interested in this one especially. So, so yes. So that is J. Musk. And then finally, one left. One left. And that's this. Um, and this is, doesn't say. So let's see. I love that his symbol is a skunk. That's kind of cool. These are the type of brands that have been doing it for me lately. Um, so this one's called Roxo or R-O-X-O. Um, so let's see what it says. Black currant, um, magnolia blossom, Palo Santo wooden fruit, violet blackberry tinctures, spices, vintage orris, jew, Juhi Jasmine, Bulgarian Rose, Ruby Porticord, Malaysian Oud, Cambodian Oud, Mysore Santal, Musk from the Oman Treasury, Vintage Siberian Musk, White Ambergris, Blonde and Burley Tobacco, Bourbon Vanilla, Nepalese Spikenard, and Sweet Castorium. Sweet Castorium. Um, okay, so I am, I'm, I'm ready to like spray these on right now, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow and wear this as my scent of the day. Um... I'm going to wear this as my scent of the day tomorrow to work and just like bomb everyone out. Can't wait. Um, so he has these different collections too, version one, version two. It looks like this is part of collection two. So I'm new to the house, but I'm, I'm going to be a very fast learner with some of these. So I can't wait to, to dive in. So thank you, Arthur, for your generosity. Um, thank you, Anuj, for being a courier. And then I will try to get with Jonathan once I get some free time and we will work all this out. So thanks for watching. Glad I got to do a video for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and hopefully you'll be hearing about some of these very soon. So cheers. Everyone have a great day. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.